Have you ever rubbed an onion over your window? I'll show you this and four other ingenious window cleaning tricks that everyone should know in this video. You'll never do it any other way again. We'll start with trick number one, because if the windows are dirty you have to clean them. But instead of using conventional cleaning products, there are also a lot of home remedies that can help you enormously and sometimes even work better than conventional cleaners. One of these home remedies is shampoo. Because of its ingredients, shampoo is very suitable for cleaning windows. All you have to do is take a bucket, pour in the water and add some shampoo. A small amount is enough, stir everything well until the shampoo has completely dissolved in the water. Now clean your windows as you normally would. Take a cloth, put it in the water and wipe all over your windows. Afterwards, of course, take the water off again and dry everything thoroughly. The reason why this trick works at all is that shampoo has some ingredients that gloss cleaners also have. Among other things, these are surfactants. In shampoo they make sure that the scalp and the hair are cleaned and the dirt is dissolved. And this also works on your windows. Alcohol and glycerin also have a dirt and grease dissolving effect and are also contained in the shampoo. In the end you have a completely clear view again and your windows are really nice and clean. This trick is especially helpful if you don't have any glass cleaner or other window cleaner in the house. For sure you have some shampoo in your bathroom and you can simply use it to clean your windows. This brings us directly to trick number two. For this we use a home remedy that you can find in your kitchen. Corn floor. Even if it sounds crazy, corn floor is perfect for cleaning windows. It also has another positive effect which I will explain in a moment. Take a spray bottle and put a tablespoon of corn floor in it. Now add vinegar. You should add 60 milliliters of vinegar to the spray bottle. The mixture of vinegar and corn floor ensures that your windows are streak free. To dilute this mixture a little more we need water. Add another 500 milliliters of water to the spray bottle. Then you are ready to go. Now put the lid on a spray bottle and shake it well. You can also put it aside and use it again later. But before you use it, you should shake it well so that all the ingredients are mixed together. Now we can move on to our windows. The cleaning is actually very similar to using glass cleaner. Again, my windows are really dirty here, which I'll show you the whole thing on. So now I spray everything with it and then I just have to wipe it well. But let's get straight to the second positive effect of the whole thing. The star in the cleaner not only helps to remove greasy dirt, but also provides a beating effect. Your windows will stay clean much longer after this application. The dirt and rain that will pelt down on the window afterwards will simply roll off and no longer stick to the window. So you will have to clean your windows much less often in the future, all thanks to a little corn flour and vinegar. After I have sprayed everything, I wiped everything well and then dried again. So again, it's not that much different from using normal glass cleaner. But in the end, you still benefit from the beading effect. And as you see in my case, the windows are really streak free afterwards. So grab some corn flour from the kitchen and try it out with this recipe instead of just using it in the kitchen. In fact, the corn flour trick is also a way to clean windows that even professionals use because it works so easily and the result is really convincing. Let's move on to trick number three, which can also ensure streak free cleaning. For this we use an insider tip that hardly anyone has on their radar. To get our windows clean without streaks we mix our own window cleaner. And for this we only need two ingredients, so let's start by making the cleaner. Grab a spray bottle for this. Now in the first step we put 200 milliliters of water into it. And then we add our secret ingredient. This is isopropanol. This is 99.9% .9 cleaning alcohol. We now add 100 milliliters of this to our spray bottle. The mixing ratio is therefore 2 parts water, 1 part isopropanol. When everything is mixed together you can put the lid on, shake it well and go to your windows to clean them. The first step is to take a damp cloth and wipe off the coarse dirt. Our cleaner has a very special function which I will tell you about in a moment. Now dry the window a little and then follow with the cleaner. Spray some of it on your windows and spread it over the entire surface. Leave it on for about 5 minutes at best. Then grab a damp cloth and wipe it all off again. The advantage of isopropanol is that it does not leave streaks and stripes, so you get the window clean again without streaks 
It also ensures that the windows do not freeze over or mist up as quickly as with conventional cleaning agents. And so you can actually keep your windows clean for weeks. Have you ever heard of the ingenious trick of cleaning your windows with tea? Here's how it works. Use a tea bag. The important thing is that it should be black tea. I will explain why in more detail in a moment. Now put it in a cup and add hot water. Leave the tea bag in there for 10 to 15 minutes. This releases most of the ingredients into the water, which is exactly what we need. Then tip the cup into a spray bottle and fill it up again with the same amount of water. You can also add the juice of a quarter of a lemon, as this also has positive effects on your windows. When you have mixed everything together, shake it well and you have the perfect homemade window cleaner. You can also use used tea bags if you don't want to waste a new one. In that case, instead of one, you should put three in hot water and let it steep for about 20 minutes. That would be about the same amount of active ingredient that we have in our window cleaner. Now go to your windows, spray them well and let it work for about 5 minutes at best. After that grab a damp cloth, wipe it again and dry it off to get the windows clean again. The whole thing works with black tea because of the tannins, which have a grease dissolving effect and can thus remove dirt. And here too, the whole thing actually works again without streaks. So cleaning windows with tea is a sensible option, especially if you drink a lot of black tea anyway. This way you don't have to throw away the tea bags in the future, but can use them again for this purpose before you finally dispose of them. And you can even clean your windows with an onion. There are actually two different ways to do this. And I will now present both of them to you in more detail. Because when the windows are dirty, an onion can actually help to clean them again. The first option is to simply cut the onion open. Now you should rub the cut surface of the onion over your window panes. This will remove fly droppings and hard crusty spots. Once you have rubbed it over your entire window pane, you don't have to do anything else but wipe it off with a dry cloth. This way you can actually get it clean again without streaks. In the end you will have a clear view through your windows again. However, there is a second method and I like it even better. You don't have to rub your window with an onion. Take a bucket of water and put half a sliced onion in it. You can also cut the onions into several small pieces and put them into the bucket of water. Leave it in there for about 30 minutes. Now take a cloth, go into the water with it and wipe your paint completely with it and then dry it completely again. This is another way to get your windows clean without streaks and all thanks to an onion. By the way, did you know that you have been storing bread incorrectly all your life? Click on the video you see on the screen and I'll show you what you should pay attention to.